Hey, welcome back YouTube. I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, I'm going to show you my methods on how I pick my winning stocks without having looking into the, um, the earnings report and all the checking balances that other people do on how they pick their winning stocks. Today, I'm going to show you my simple method on how I pick my winning stocks in this video. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you three of my strategies that I use uh, when I'm buying a new stock on how do I choose? Why did I choose this stock to buy in the first place? And if I did choose this stock, what were my parameters? What were my guidelines that I have set for myself in order to go ahead and purchase this stock? The number one way that I choose to, uh, to pick a stock is if I see and know the company. I have to be a believer in the company. I have to know the company. I'm not going to invest inside a stock, inside a company, just because someone tells me to, and I have no clue what this company does in life, how many employees they have, what is their payout, what is their earnings. I'm not going to invest inside a company just because someone tells me. I'm going to invest inside a company that I believe in and a company that I use. That is the most important thing. I'm going to invest into a company that I use. So if you've been a subscriber of this channel, you guys will know that I picked up Clorox and I picked up Walmart over the um, the bad over the the beer virus breakout. That I picked up Clorox uh, that I added inside my portfolio and I picked up Walmart. The reason I picked up those companies, not just because they was doing uh, phenomenal during the outbreak, but because I'm a actually I'm, I actually use these products in real life. I shop at Walmart. I see them. Um, being innovative inside of their stores uh, i see them being very competitive with their competitors um putting up walmarts all throughout the country and they pay a really a really good dividend okay so i'm I, i'm a product and i use walmart and one of the things that i look for if i am a user of a product because sometimes I buy products that not everybody use, so it might not actually be a good company to invest in, is if I see advertisement. If I'm driving down the highway and I see a billboard that says Walmart, if I'm watching Hulu and a commercial comes up that says Walmart, if I'm watching TV and a commercial comes up that says Walmart, if I'm watching a movie and uh, some of the characters in the movie goes to uh, a Walmart, or if I'm watching the cartoons and those characters go to Walmart, that's how I know that this, this company is relevant and they're paying for their advertising. And if a company can pay that much for their advertisement, they have a, uh, they're making a lot of money in order to advertise that much. So that is one of the ways that I invest into a company. Another example would be Coca-Cola. Everywhere I look, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big user of Coca-Cola. I drink Coca-Cola. Um, I added that into my portfolio not too long ago. If you drive down any highway for 10 or 20 miles, you're going to see a Coca-Cola advertisement. As soon as you walk inside any corner store, the first thing you're going to see is the big Coca-Cola sign, two for four dollars or anything like that. So uh, Coca-Cola does an amazing job at advertisement. Every Christmas, you're going to see those uh, Coca-Cola bears, and it's it's a um, it's a very large company that spent a lot of money on advertising and i like to see that in products that i use so before i pull up my Robinhood account and show you guys all of um my stocks that i buy and why i bought them uh let me explain the other two reasons that i purchase um, stocks that i add into my portfolio other than just brand recognition and companies that i trust and that i use and uh, companies that i um actually believe that can grow into the future okay the second um probably not the most important but it's highly important thing that i look at when investing into this into a stock is the trend of the the stock in this market cap okay the market cap has to be above one billion dollars it has to be above one billion dollars i know it sounds like a lot of money but Every stock that I have inside my portfolio is over $1 billion. That doesn't mean that every uh, company inside my portfolio is doing extremely well. It's just that I know that this is not a very small company. Any company under $500 million, to me, I consider a penny stock. And penny stocks are very risky. If a company doesn't have much cash on hand uh, and they are a $500 million company, 
I don't see them lasting through any recession, any crisis, any virus outbreak type of news. Um, and it's a very risky company to invest in. So every company that I have inside my portfolio, I have a lot of stocks inside my portfolio. Every single one of them are above $1 billion. I actually just uh, purchased a share of a company that's over $1 trillion. And I think you guys know what company that is. I'm gonna show you in a second. So make sure that you stick around so I can show you that my $1 trillion company that I have inside of my portfolio. But yes, anything under 500 million, I consider a penny stock. If it's from 500 million to 1 billion, you're safe, but I see it that like you're gambling in a small company. You could pick up a couple of shares for two or three dollars, maybe uh, three to seven dollars. And you're hoping that that company goes from three to seven dollars to seventy dollars within the next year or in the next two or three years. Uh, it's a bit of a gamble. Uh, you can make a lot of money that way, but you can also lose a lot of money that way. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just telling you guys my method on how I invest into winning stocks. And that brings us to my third method. Uh, I actually have a, a very large dividend. Well, not large. To me, it's, still, it's large. To a lot of people, it's, it's still a very small dividend portfolio. I have a dividend portfolio. So I do look at the dividends of the company. Not every company I have in my portfolio pays out dividends. A lot of them uh, pays out dividends. Some of them don't pay out dividends. But I do look at the dividend payout of these companies. If I'm investing into ETFs, I like my ETFs to pay a pretty decent dividend. If not, I want them to have a steady growth over time. Over the last five years, I want them to have a steady uptrend over the last five years. But I do look into these dividend paying companies. And if it's not an ETF and it's just a regular company uh, that pays out dividends, I look at their, um, their dividend payout ratio. So if it's a REIT, I, I like my REITs to be anything above 5%, uh, anything above 15, 16, 17. I've seen some REITs that pays out, uh, REITs is just real estate companies that pays out very high uh, dividends. And some of them pay out 24% in dividends. It's like, I don't find that too safe. You can make a lot of money in dividends that way, but I don't find that safe that their dividend pays out so high. I mean, they paying out so much of their earnings that they don't really have enough money or capital to really reinvest back into the company in order to keep that company growing in the future. So I don't like my dividends to be too high, but I also don't like my dividends to be too low. So I do look at um, dividends like, uh, let's say, uh, AT&T, they pay out a pretty good dividend. I'm gonna talk about at and in just a minute to give you guys an example of a stock that I would buy and a stock that I wouldn't buy in just one minute. But let's say a company like, um, I'm buying a company that's not a, a ETF or a REIT um, and it pays out a dividend of 3%. I, I'm going to take that uh, as long as I'm a believer of that company. Now, if this company pays out a dividend that's over 10 double digit percent, I'm, I'm, I'm not leaning toward adding that into my portfolio because that seems like a risky stock to me because I don't believe that can grow. And also if their dividend is under uh, half a percent, uh, under 0.25%, uh, if it has to be an amazing company in order for me to invest into something like that. But if not, I'll probably pass on it or I'll use it as one of my growth stocks that I see uh, growing exponentially fast in the future. So let's go ahead and pull up my Robinhood account so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. It will make a lot more sense once I show you guys um, in real time exactly how I pick my stocks. So let's pull that up right now. Okay, so I have Robinhood pulled up right now. My account is sitting at $16,538.26. I'm a little bit down on the day. I'm down 1% on the day, uh, $38 in the aftermarket. But um, let's get into a couple of stocks that I recently added to my portfolio and why I recently added these to my portfolio. So, so you guys could use these techniques to add uh, more companies inside of your portfolio. So to get everything out of the way right now, I'm going to go to my $1 trillion company, Amazon. <laughs> I purchased Amazon at the perfect time, I think down in the $1,900 range. Amazon is now at 2,446, I mean, $2,456. 
I'm up $543 from the time I purchased Amazon. I bought the dip and now Amazon is up, okay? Now let's see if Amazon fit my criteria when it comes to me buying, uh, picking new stocks. Amazon, brand recognition. Yes, Amazon is a very large company. Uh, advertising is everywhere. Whenever you wanna check out on anything online, it's gonna pretty much redirect you to Amazon. Uh, to buy a product from here. Their uh, customer service is amazing. They deliver it straight to your door in one or two days. I'm a believer in this company and I'm actually a user of this company. Uh, you can watch many of their movies in their shows um, using their fire stick. So Amazon is a pretty dog on good company. So I use that company, check. Check number two, market cap. Market cap is $1.2 trillion. So Amazon is no penny stock by far. They have $1.2 trillion in their market cap. The only thing Amazon does not do is pay dividends. But with a company that has grown over the last five years, 464%, they ain't gotta, they ain't gotta pay me no dividends, all right? They could just keep growing their company other than paying out their investors dividends, they could keep reinvesting that money back into the company because five years ago, you could have picked up Amazon for $429.92. Now it's at $2,405. So you ain't gotta pay me dividends as long as you're in the upward trend over the last five years. Uh, the dividends to me does not matter. Reinvest that back into the company and continue to grow. Now, let me give you guys an example of a company that I would not buy. This company is Wi-Fi, W-I-F-I. It is a cell phone uh, provider company, uh, Bingo Wireless. Um, have I heard of Bingo Wireless? No, I have not. Do I use Bingo Wireless? I have not. Uh, when I go to people's houses and they have Wi-Fi or the cell phone provider, um, I, I've never heard anyone say they use Bingo Wireless. Um, as a cell phone provider or an internet provider. So their brand recognition is not so big, okay? Over the last five years, they're up uh, from the last five years from $7 to $13. But over the last year, they had a pretty uh, significant downtrend all the way since September um, 28, 2018. The last two years, they've been in a downtrend. So it's not looking too good for me right there either. Let's go to step number two. Um, the market cap is $600 million. All right. It's nothing wrong with $600 million, but I said, I like to invest into companies that is over $1 billion. So it doesn't quite fit my criteria when it comes to, um, the market cap. So the brand recognition is not there for me. Also, the market cap is not there for me. So I would not invest into Wi-Fi personally. There's nothing wrong against, there's nothing wrong with it because if you're looking at getting a bingo at $13 and thinking it's gonna get all the way back up to $30, um, you made a significant amount of money. You made a, a, a very large amount of money. You would be up almost 200% if you buy a lot now, thinking that it'll go up in the future. But that's not my style of investing, okay? All right, and style number three. Uh, dividend yield they pay no dividends at all so the market cap is too low for me i don't recognize the brand and they pay no dividends so that's not me now let me give you guys a perfect example of the exact opposite of wi-fi bingo wireless and that company would be at&t i own 12 shares of at&t right now i'm down uh 208 dollars at and is at $31.16. If we scroll down just a little bit, their market cap is $221 billion. So they're well above the $1 billion market cap that I'm looking into. Um, at and everyone knows at and They play their commercials. Um, they have their own football stadium, okay? They um, have their own billboards. Uh, my cell phone provider is at and so AT&T brand recognition is up there. Two, their market cap is $221 billion. And three, their dividend yield is 6.75%. If someone was to ask me, hey, I want to invest inside a, a Wi-Fi cellular provider, uh, should I buy AT&T or should I buy Bingo Wireless? 
I would personally suggest that they buy at and It's not the best company in the world. They pay a pretty good dividend and they're by far not a penny stock. Bingo Wireless is not the best company in the world, but it's not. It's also not the worst. It's just my style of investing that I've been having success with so far. I would suggest to my friend to buy at and instead of Wi-Fi of Bingo Wireless, W-I-F-I, in personal preface. At the end of the day, could that company shoot up and he make more money than me? Yes. Could that company shoot down and he lose all his money? Yes. So it's just a personal preface. And I'm showing you guys my um, investing style on how I invest into the stock market. Let's take a look at one more company that I um, did not tell you guys about at the beginning of the video. So this is a little sneak peek for, uh, for everyone that stayed to the end of this video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that like button, okay guys? Let's, um, I'm gonna be doing another giveaway when I get to 4,000 subscribers. So make sure that you subscribe in order for you guys to win that giveaway. So here's my, uh, my another uh, tip that I use in order to invest into winning stocks. Okay, so the fourth way of my investing style is to invest into stocks that you need. Stocks that you need. What do you mean by what do you need? Stocks that you can't, uh, companies that you can't really function in society without, okay guys? So one of those companies will be Waste Management, WM. Um, they pick up trash, okay? If this company was to go bankrupt and stop working today, no one trash would get picked up. Okay, you have to burn your trash. They have one of the biggest waste management um, companies in the world, uh, WM. Let's pull that up right quick. I have one share of waste management. It's sitting at $106. I'm down um, $2, but they pay out a dividend of 2.15%. Their market cap is $44 billion. And this is a, a company over the last five years that has been on an upward trend. Five years ago, waste management was at $49. So it's up $113 from the last year. All right. So this is what I mean by investing to companies that the world utility companies. That's what I mean that you can't really live without. And another one is water. OK, let me bring that one up for you right quick. All right, this one is WTRG, uh, Essential Utilities. It's basically a water company that used to be um, WTR not too long ago. Over the last five years, they have an uptrend up 62%. And before the news came out, they was up 100% over the last five years. Their market cap is at $10.5 billion. And they pay a pretty good dividend at 2.27%. Okay, so this is another utility company that, you know, that we need in order to survive. So this is how, I, that's my fourth way that I pick companies to invest in, other than just throwing money into the market, hoping this company blows up into the future. Uh, this company pays a high dividend, so I'm gonna invest all my money into this stock and hoping that um, I beat the stock market in the future. You could do that, you could win, but you gonna also lose. So I'm showing you guys my strategy on how I invest into the stock market. All right, guys, so I gave you a couple of my tips and tricks that I use to uh, add new companies into my dividend portfolio. Hopefully you guys use some of the, the tips that I gave out in this video in order to help grow your portfolio, other than just guessing on companies in the stock market. But other than that, um, I've learned on YouTube that you, uh, I hate doing it, but that you actually have to ask people to hit that thumbs up button. If you don't ask, they're probably not gonna hit that thumbs up button. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps this channel out a lot. It'll only take a second to do. And if you guys want to see my full portfolio and be a part of the 4,000 uh, sub giveaway, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. Other than that, I'm Zeke from the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.